Star Trek actor Kenneth Mitchell has died at the age of 49. In a post on his Instagram account February 25th, Kenneth's family shares the news that he passed the day before, writing, With heavy hearts, we announce the passing of Kenneth Alexander Mitchell, beloved father, husband, brother, uncle, son, and dear friend. The actor was married to his wife of 17 years, Susan May Pratt, with whom he had two children, Lila and Callum. The obituary continues, Ken was diligent and hardworking in everything he did, but as a father, these traits found their fullest expression. He was extremely dedicated to being a positive and playful force in the lives of his children. Regardless of his later disabilities, Ken discovered a higher calling to be more fully himself for his kids. Ken will be forever proud of who his children have become. The Star Trek actor was diagnosed with ALS in 2018 and soon after had to begin using a wheelchair. His family writes of his health battle saying, For five and a half years, Ken faced a series of awful challenges from ALS. And in truest Ken fashion, he managed to rise above each one with grace and commitment to living a full and joyous life in each moment. The Toronto native landed his first big movie role in the 2004 sports biopic Miracle alongside Kurt Russell. However, he became best known for his roles in the Star Trek TV series, playing several different Klingons throughout seasons 1 and 2, and then the character of Aurelio in season 3, whose use of a wheelchair-like device matched Kenneth's real-life situation with his progressing ALS. The Star Trek franchise releases a statement of their own in response to the actor's passing, writing, The entire Star Trek family sends their condolences to Mitchell's family, friends, loved ones, and fans around the world. In a 2001 Star Trek featurette, Kenneth spoke about being diagnosed with a neurodegenerative disease and how working on the show gave him hope to keep fighting. Star Trek gives me hope. I love it so much. There's so much hope and fight out there and inspiration that I just, I soak it all up. And every once in a while, I will adhere to the Klingon culture and philosophies. Which is, today is a good day to die. But think that really means is just you know fill yourself with honor and face the moment fearless and with love and passion and so even though those two things live long and prosper and today is a good day to die is there's a dichotomy between the two of them somehow I feel part of both of them.